Christian Rivera Foundation was founded after young Christian Rivera, a four-year-old boy who was diagnosed with the IPG, uh, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, a rare brain tumor located in the stem of, of the brain. While Christian fought and was able to surpass the average lifespan, he unfortunately lost his battle. And since, the Christian Rivera Foundation, now in its 14th year, continues to help fund further research and raise awareness, providing current DIPG, DIPG excuse me, patients access to clinical trials in the memory of Christian Rivera. Now this year, the CRF will honor several DIPG warriors, including Major League Baseball star Harrison Bader and CRF board member and owner of Pulse International Realty, Rena Cliot, and with an award ceremony hosted by a star-studded cast that includes board members and actors Keenan Thompson and Luis Guzman, actor Malik Yoba, and the foundation's board of director, anchor of award-winning NBC's Today in New York and Bronx Net alum Darlene Rodriguez. And here to share more is executive board member of the Christian Rivera Foundation, owner of Pulse International Realty, Rena Cliot. Thank you. That hello. Was, hello. Hello, hello, Rena. I know. Uh, <laughs> that is such a rare occasion it's for so me. It's so fun. Two Renas in the house. I know. Two queens in the house. <laughs> hey. Love it. Well, that was an amazing introduction, and you really covered a lot of what we do. I'm so proud to be a part of the Christian Rivera Foundation and to be the executive board member. Um, as you know, as you mentioned, I am the you know the broker and, and founder of Pulse International Realty in New York and South Florida, and I've ever since I've started my career path, I've always found it to be very, very, very important to pay it forward and give back, um, especially when I'm in an industry that's more about what can you get me, what can you give me. So I I love you know Pulse has heart and I want to pay it forward, and I fell in love with this foundation and with John and with the cause and the mission. Um, I, it, it was a love affair from the start and these children who we call warriors. And so we have Maria Quenster this year is getting the warrior award. I'm getting the service and dedication award. She's right. getting the warrior award. The warrior, there is no better term for these children than, than warrior. That's how we refer to them. And they, they are fighting the fight of their lives every day, them and their families, and we do everything to try and make it better. You right. know, um, In addition to the clinical trials that we set up, um, we are working with top of the line neurologists and oncologists. Um, so we have Dr. Mark Swidain at Weill Cornell, mm -hmm. and he is um, head of pediatric neurology with a focus on uh, brain tumors, and we work with Dr. Oren Becker at Mount Sinai, who is our researcher, and he is chief of oncology, pediatric oncology and hematology. So we've got the top of the top, you know, um, you know, ha ha right yeah, behind the, behind the actual us. finding the cure, right? Yeah. Because I know that um, in the years we've had uh, several individuals on behalf of the Christian Rivera Foundation, and it seems like every year it, it's getting better in the sense of, of the lifespan extending uh, based on this research that you guys continue to fund. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I just wondered, like, uh, from your perspective in being in the field of real estate, um, just did you start in New York or did you start in Florida and how are you manning both and how did you come across the Christian Rivera Foundation? So how am I manning both? With yeah. very little sleep. And <laughs> Very little sleep. <laughs> some more, some important time management skills and organizational skills, which I'm always trying to, you know, implement into everyone else in my life, and teach them how to do it because right. it is key. Um, I was in Florida yesterday. Literally left a client, went straight to the airport so that I could be here for this morning. Amazing. So yeah, so it's, <laughs> it takes a lot of, you know, you need to be very disciplined. Um, what, how, what has I had mentioned before? I always made it a part of Pulse to have a heart, so. Um, I like that term, by the thank way. Thank you. And I love that you're breaking it down for us, too. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> really, like really, because it, it means something beyond like, oh, okay, we've just got a pulse. It's, yeah, no, you know, it's, it's more. You're carrying heart into everything that you do. Thank you, yeah. thank you. And um, so I, 
I was seeking to, I started an organization, I co-founded an organization called the Divas Philanthropic Business Leaders. And it was a culmination of, you know, what charities can we support and how can we help each other grow? Um, it was all women. The charter was all women. And so, again, you know, like women supporting women. And I was, as I had put together, as we had put together the, the, the charter members, I said, okay, fine, I, I want to go and research and see, you know, what charity really speaks to me because there are so many and right. what will support on our first year, right. on our, you know, right. on our inaugural year. And so I was reading and I read Christian's story and just my heart like broke and opened and I was like, I need to see what this is about. And I went to the gala by myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you bought a ticket and you actually attended the I gala. I attended the gala. Uh huh. The gala is extraordinary. Aside it from is. the fact that the <laughs> message, aside from the fact that the message is so important and the cause is important and spreading awareness is important because it's not just fundraising; it's also spreading awareness because so many people don't know about DIPG. Well, anyway, in short, I got there. I fell in love with it. I started bidding on silent auction stuff. John called me and said, "Who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> where did you come from? Mm -hmm. Who sits by themselves and doesn't care where they're sitting? You know, right. I was like, just put me anywhere when right. he calls. Right. Right. Um, because he takes such care <laughs> of the, you know, to making sure that everybody is sitting where they want to, yeah. you know, where they should be if they know anyone. Like, it's a very, and I fell in love with him and how organic it is. I just felt like it was a family. And I thought, this is what I want. I went, if everyone is here, for this very real reason and really wanting to help the kids, not just about like, hey, you know, like. Right, not you know. just a fundraiser to network. Exactly. All right, but right. It's because more, usually that's what people pay for. It is. Yeah. I mean, that's part of that too, it right? It is part of it. It yes. is part of it. And I think a lot of people, maybe the guests do show up at that, but once they hear the story right. and they get as involved as I did, and I was like, I'm in, I'm in, hook, line, and sinker. And we, um, and I just started working with them and, and before I knew it, I became, he was like, can you be on the board? And then it was like, we want you to be the executive board member. And, you know, so it's just become ingrained. And that's what, like three <laughs> years, three, three years three now. Years. Three years now. Three years now. Three years, And yeah. you are engulfed. I am engulfed. I'm completely engulfed. And I'm committed to these children. I'm committed to people knowing about it. Um, it's, it's, you pronounced it perfectly, diffuse intrinsic pondine glioma. They, be, people don't know about DIPG. Right. It, it, yeah. <laughs> they don't. And it isn't, are, like, commonly diagnosed from right. what I understand And we've as got, well. you know, there are huge, huge organizations like, you know, like, you know, Make-A-Wish and St. Jude and all kinds of, we basically do everything that they do, and, but we're so intimate and so small. So we make their wishes come true. We, like, we had Jesslyn Silva um, who you, I'm sure you've heard of, and she she is one of our warriors. She just went through a Cardi cell trial, um, and she is fighting. Oh my God, she is incredible. She wrote a book when she was um, 11. She was an um, uh, Everlast sponsor. She was you know geared to be like a you know an Olympic and, boxer. Yeah, right. she was there. And this happened, and it really set her back. And she had said that her favorite boxer was Mike Tyson. I jumped through hoops, and I was like, I'm going to get her Mike Tyson. And we did, and he surprised her. And it was it was such an amazing encounter. So we do things. like It's like, it's like that make-a-wish plus. We're you know, getting them into the trials that they need. We are educating. We are helping the families. We're, I mean, it's, it's really it's everything all in one right. because it's so organic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's... Um, yeah. It's impressive, and it's, and it's heart, you know. Yes, and it's heart, and your pulse. And I'm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, it makes sense. It totally it, makes sense. It makes sense. So, all um, you know, I've attended the gala on different occasions, and it is quite grand. Yeah. Um, and Capital is a really big and the uh, red venue. carpet, and, and they make everyone <laughs> feel like a star. You come in. I, there are not a lot of tickets left. So anybody watching who wants a ticket, it's it's really coming up. It's soon. It's right. November 15th. Right. I strongly recommend attending. I mean, everyone who walks in feels like a superstar. And we've got such incredible celebrities. Yes. But the way that John sets it up and it's like, you know, like all oh, the photographers. I mean, it's it's such a wonderful experience. And it's so heartfelt. And it's fun. A lot of calas aren't fun. And it's a lot yeah. of hours, too, right? Yeah. Because I think it starts at 5 or 6. six yeah. And then it goes till 11. And people don't want to leave. We have to 
pull them off the dance floor. Like, you know, you've been to a lot of galas and yes. functions, and yes. you're sitting there and listening to speeches that go on and on and on and on and on, and you're like, oh my God, this is really important, and I don't want to be, you know, like right. falling asleep right now. <laughs> this isn't like that. I like, know, I know. Like, you're keeping it real, though. <laughs> I swear to God, I am keeping it real. Because we're like, oh my God, there's a violinist. Oh my God, there's somebody there. Yeah. There's, there's dancers, you know, there's the ballet hispanico. Like, everything is going on, and it's just like, and you're enjoying, but you're also hearing the stories and we have our warriors up there and everyone gets up and speaks about their experience and it's really yeah it's nice yeah it is nice it's nice it's nice to be in that space of of people uh, like-minded individuals who care now before we go are there any success stories that you can share with us um, well, Maria Quenster, uh, she, uh, we're, as I said, she's getting the Warrior Award. We have quite a few, but um, she's getting, she is, I can't remember, she's 23, I want to say, 20, I, I, she's in her 20s, which is incredible. Right, because the lifespan incredible. is like the estimated five, right, once diagnosed? Um, well, actually, um, the median survival rate once a child is diagnosed with DIPG is nine months. Oh, it is very from the time that they're diagnosed. They, it's a very aggressive cancer. It is in an uh, inoperable. Um, it's only through radiation. Um, uh, she, what Maria had was, I believe, it was a photon radi radiation treatment. Um, and thank God, she is doing amazing. She did something called Maria's Miracle, um, which was this parallel 5K to when we and she raised twenty four thousand. Um, and she's a young girl, and she's been fighting, and she is beautiful and wonderful, and she's flourishing. Um, Emiliano, the little boy, I don't know if you were there when he, um, okay, he's a little boy, he's so delicious. And, um, and he's been fighting, and he's just doing incredible, and he, his parents bring him to the, to the gala, and his little tux, his little, little man, so cute, and he's doing wonderful. Um, Jesslyn is also fighting through, I mean, everyone that we've, Unfortunately, there are losses and right. they're heartbreaking. Um, but again, that's why we need to bring awareness to this. Also for the sake of the families, the, the indicators that this is happening to a child are so, for as aggressive as this cancer is, what indicates that a child might have it, it's very slight, it's, you know, it's, it's imbalance, it's, it's getting dizzy, it's, you know, like things headaches. where, headaches, yes. and, and those are things where a lot of times parents will go, okay, well maybe he needs glasses, right. or maybe she's not drinking enough water, or maybe it's, you know, like you think it's not really, you know, right. get your child Check. checked. Check. Beautiful, and that's a wonderful note to end on because it's like you can't take anything for granted. You can't, right? You can't listen to your children. Thank you for all of your efforts. Thank you for bringing it here to our viewers. Thank you. Thank you for letting thank me you. be here. Yes, and thank you for, for sharing a name. Oh my gosh, I was just gonna say that you took the words out of my mouth. It's a rare thing for me, so I really appreciate it. This everyone. was a pleasure. Rena Cleod, owner of Pulse International Realty and executive board member of the Christian Rivera Foundation. Once again, the 14th annual Christian Rivera Foundation Celebrity Gala will take place on Wednesday, November 15th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Capital, located on 130 Bowery in Manhattan, New York. For more information, visit ChristianRiveraFoundation.org. Stay tuned. More open when we return. Yeah. Yeah. No.